What's up, everybody? I get a lot of questions about what my experience was like in boot camp. So in this video, um, I wanted to step away from uh, tutorials and, and, you know, talking about things to just briefly cover what my experience in coding boot camp was like. But to, to give you the, you know, too long, didn't read version of it, um, I learned a lot in boot camp but I just didn't have like a great time. I certainly didn't have like as good of a time as I thought I would when I was getting in. So let's talk about that. In boot camp, um, or let's talk about it a little bit before boot camp. And if you've watched other videos on the channel, you'll be familiar, but I'm recapping this because I'm just getting started like making content in general. So a lot of people haven't, um, haven't watched my previous videos or might not even know that I have previous videos, but, before I got into boot camp, uh, I had like a tumultuous journey. So I kind of like walked off the clock at my job and um, I sat around for maybe a few months and I was formerly working as kind of a graphic designer and I had a hard time getting a, getting a start as a graphic designer because I didn't, I didn't know where to go to learn more, get better at my craft or how to network. And I really wasn't thinking about business in the same way that I do now. So as a, as a freelance web dev now, today, um, I'm much better thinking about business and thinking about like reality than I was as a as a young graphic designer that was really only concerned with you know how much time it would take to knock out another flyer. And I came into coding boot camp, um, never having coded before, no previous experience, no one that I could relate to in my personal life that had ever coded or done anything and my only experience was maybe switching out myspace themes or occasionally changing some css or you know i used to design like forum signatures and that would require some basic html and css to actually implement and make sure that they were always centered and things like that and coding boot camp was hard man um i would i would not recommend you know a college dropout go into <laughs> into coding boot camp i think that if if you didn't do well uh, in a traditional learning environment like high school or, or college, then maybe coding boot camp is not a great idea because it's very similar except everything is accelerated. So you, you learn very quickly and as we're learning all of this new stuff, we're forgetting shit and really you know losing track of the knowledge that we do have. And when you're learning how to code, you know, things are very hard. So I, I had a hard time keeping up day to day, keeping up with the assignments we were supposed to do. I had a hard time uh, comprehending um, basic JavaScript concepts because I didn't have a handle on them before I went in. So I would always recommend that, you know, you explore free code camp, you explore the Odin project, get within proximity as close as you can before you just up and pay for a coding boot camp because one, you might find that you don't need it. And two, if you're going to coding boot camp, just hoping that you're going to get a job, um, you know, times are changing and it, it's tough for a junior developer. You have to be um, exceptionally talented and exceptionally passionate for that to happen for you. Or I might get in trouble for saying this, but you know, you probably have to be white and not a person of color. <laughs> so my boot camp experience was was it, it was horrible. Um, <laughs> and if you want to learn more about that, I do have a longer video about like why I didn't have a, a job as a developer two years after coding boot camp um, that I put out earlier this year. And I recommend you watch that. Um, but basically, you know, my my boot camp experience it, it wasn't fun. You know, it, it was like boot camp. It was hell. Um, I, I got the skills that I needed and the moment that I was done, I got the fuck out of there. And the only way at that time that I knew to decompress was to just stop. So when I got out of coding boot camp, I didn't keep up, you know, I didn't keep my skills sharp like I should have. I stopped coding and I just went in like rela relaxation mode and I was trying to decompress because I was dealing with like mental health issues at the time. Um, and because of that, the start to my career was delayed. So here I am now in in 2020, uh, really, really just getting into my craft and really just now starting to explore, you know, see how I can even explore like other hobbies that I like um, through code. So if you were ever wondering, you know, what my experience in boot camp was like, um, I hope 
this is a, a this is enough to give you like a an overview of that. And I'm not knocking code and boot camps, but uh, what I would caution you is is to you know don't don't try and get into this solely hoping that you're going to get a job because that that wasn't really my goal going into code and boot camp. My goal was just to transition career. So like let's you know I, I wanted to get a lot of, of of core knowledge very quickly. And then I wanted to just see where I could take it, whether I got a job or started freelancing. Um, but I would say, yeah, don't go to coding boot camp just, just for a job. Uh, I would really not recommend going to coding boot camp if you've never coded before. I would always recommend trying something like free code camp or the Odin Project first. And, you know, the last thing is that, you know, let's, let's not put boot camps on a pedestal because at the end of the day, we're all self-taught. You know, I, I went to code and boot camp, but almost everything that I know today, I've had to learn on my own. I've had to take out time on my own. I've had to set aside time like on my own. Um, you know, even when I had an internship, I still had to have extra time that I could set aside so I could continue deepening my knowledge of, of JavaScript or, you know, whatever framework we were using at the time. So never forget that whether you have a computer science degree and you think that's the route and that's going to be your ticket or you think you're just going to go off the coding boot camp and that's going to be your ticket. We're all self-taught at the end of the day. And uh, coding boot camp just accelerates that process so that you get to a, a certain level of competency um, where you can, you know, build and, and deploy and, and develop apps for people. So never, never put uh, the degree or, or a boot camp on a pedestal. And uh, I think, that's pretty much where I would like to end. If you have any more questions or you want like a more detailed view of what boot camp was like on a day-to-day -day basis, I went to Thinkful. Um, I did their full-time engineering immersion program. And I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll recount those days. But honestly, they were so bad and so stressful that I don't really like to to dig too deep in it or, or talk about it unless, you know, we're doing like a – a, a panel or some type of webinar where you know we can really just sit and talk about these things for you know an, an hour or two hours so yeah we're all self-taught never forget that i will see y'all next time